Vlogmas day 18, let's make some holiday appetizers. I'm inviting you into my kitchen. If you're new, don't forget to subscribe if you want new videos like this every day right up until Christmas. My name's Steph, I'm a stay-at-home mom to two little kids who works very, very part-time at a coffee shop. Uh, but this is my new channel, I've rebranded. I'm Mama Moose, welcome. Today we are going to be making some easy holiday appetizers that you can make ahead of time for a holiday gathering with friends or family that are super easy, your kids will like them, you'll like them, bonus, and they keep in the fridge for a few days, so it's okay if you make them ahead of time, and you'll also have leftovers that you can keep as well. So let's dive right in. The first thing I did was I started with my deviled eggs because I knew that they would take the longest, so I already cooked my eggs. If you've never made uh, deviled eggs before, you have to hard boil your eggs. So I just put eggs in a saucepan, covered them with an inch of water, set them on boil, let them come to a boil. Once they've come to a boil, I put the lid on, turn the heat off, and let them simmer for 13 minutes on the burner. When they're done cooking, I just transfer them into a bowl of ice water. That's where they're sitting right now in my sink in a bowl of ice water, cooling until I am ready to work with them. So now that my eggs are peeled and I'm only doing enough for my family, <laughs> but if you need to do more, you do more. We did have a few that didn't turn out so great. If you have like a foolproof method for doing hard boiled eggs, please let me know. I'm just going to cut them in half and I'm going to get a little bowl to put the yolk in. So you just kind of open, open the egg <laughs> and let the middle come through fall out, I guess I should say. Let the middle fall out. I want to know in the comments down below, what is like your number one can't have Christmas without this appetizer? Appetizer. <laughs> For us, shrimp. It's not Christmas unless there's a shrimp ring at the table and you bet we're going to be having shrimp. Both my kids love shrimp. Like always, like my son, I think started eating shrimp his first Christmas so he was well I guess his second Christmas he was like just one <laughs> and everyone was so shocked when he started eating the shrimp at the table but he's uh he likes shrimp he doesn't like much else but he likes shrimp so now we've got our yolks in here what we're gonna do is just add a little bit of mayonnaise salt and pepper I like to put a little bit of paprika in there too as well as a splash of vinegar. I always just eyeball this part. I don't really measure, especially if you're doing a different amount of eggs each time. Whatever looks good to you. People like different consistencies for their double eggs. I personally like mine a little bit on the chunkier side, but that's just me. And then I know some people like to put this in a piping bag and pipe it in. If that's you, go for it. That is not me tastes the same whether it looks pretty or not. Anytime I'm making appetizers, especially at Christmas, I always think of Four Christmases. Have you seen that movie with Vince Vaughn and Reese Witherspoon and the kind of trailer park <laughs> scene with his family where they where the girl comes out with like cheese whiz on Ritz crackers and is like, Hordoove raise anyone? <laughs> We're making Hordoove raise here, people. All right, now comes the fun part. Filling up the eggs. Definitely need a spoon. Okay, let's make these festive. We need some dill and some red pepper, and I'll show you how to make these look, I mean, they look amazing, but let's make them look festive amazing. So you're gonna take a very, very small sprig of fresh dill and stick that in, and then you just wanna cut your red pepper into tiny little bits, and those are gonna be like your little holly berries. And you just stick those in by the dill. 
See, it went from a regular old deviled egg to bam, Christmas deviled egg. I mean, can we? What? <laughs> it just took it up a notch, didn't it? Let's do all these and I'll show you what they look like. Look at those. How flippin' festive. Super festive, super easy, using a traditional recipe. My kids love deviled eggs. I don't know about your kids, but they won't eat the dill. That's fine. I'll eat the dill, but I think the dill will also add a really nice like freshness to said deviled egg. So there's appetizer number one. Can we just appreciate the smell of fresh dill? My fridge smells so good right now. <laughs> All right, let's make uh, this Mediterranean feta layered dip. I'll leave the recipe for everything linked down below, but this recipe um, suggests you make your own hummus. And if you're into that, be my guest. However, um, I'm not. So we're using good old fashioned, somebody else made hummus. <laughs> Some machine made hummus. We're gonna throw some of this into the bottom. You can use a nine by 13 um, baking dish. You can use whatever casserole dish you prefer. I just thought it would look really pretty in the white dish. You won't see all the layers like you would in a, a glass dish. However, my nine by 13s have seen better days and frankly, I don't want anyone seeing the sides of them. So this is my nice casserole dish. So that's what we're gonna make it in today. So to start out, I'm gonna throw the hummus on the thing. You're just gonna put all your hummus on the bottom. I think I bought too much hummus, if there is such a thing, which I don't think there is. Probably only need one container. You just want like a nice, even layer. Yeah, one container is plenty. You could totally change the flavor. Like if you wanted to get, you know, roasted red pepper hummus or spicy hummus or whatever floats your boat. Um, I just went for the traditional plain because I figure that way all the other flavors will come through like the dill and the all the vegetables that are going on this and I find around the holidays especially I'm craving vegetables uh, by the end of it just with all the sugar and the sweet and the you know heavy like turkey and heavy things like that so to have a nice kind of fresh appetizer um, my mom also makes a really good taco dip that's got like cream cheese and um you know, tomato, taco sauce, all that kind of stuff, cheese that you serve with Tostitos. It's really good. She she usually makes that around this time of the year. <laughs> when I was looking up appetizers, do you know how many appetizers the first ingredient is a softened block, if not two of cream cheese? <laughs> I was like, I need something that doesn't have cream cheese. So the last two didn't have cream cheese. Actually, I don't think any of the ones I'm making today have cream cheese, so, but they're coming. The cream cheese ones are coming. So there's our even layer of hummus. What's next? If you haven't gotten the minced garlic from Costco that's pre-minced, you're not living your best life. We need a third, one and a third cups of plain Greek yogurt. Um, so I'm gonna measure this into a bowl and then you add garlic, dill, parsley, which I forgot the parsley. It's okay, we're just not gonna put the parsley in, it's fine, it's fine. Don't run back out to the store, especially when it's been snowing all day. No, 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 you don't need it. Find something else. All right, dill, garlic, it's supposed to be a tablespoon of dill. Don't ever let anyone tell you how much dill to put in something. Um, I think I'm gonna add a little bit more dill, actually. That doesn't look like nearly enough dill. All right, we're gonna pour this yogurt dill mixture right on top of the hummus, and then kind of spread it out evenly. So I was looking at the recipe, it looks like you just throw everything else on and call it a day. So I'm gonna chop up my cucumber, my tomatoes, my onion, and then make it pretty. Layer number one, cucumber. Layer two, red onion. Should have saved that to last because now I'm crying, but so beautiful. Tip with red onion. Especially if you're making this for guests at a party and there may be, um, I am crying so hard. These onions are strong. Whoa. There may be, um, you may need to have a face-to-face -face conversation with someone that you don't know that well. If you don't want pungent onion breath, soak your onions in a bit of cold water before you add them to your dish. It'll take out kind of that pungent onion flavor and just make it meld a little bit better. Fun fact. Layer three, four, I don't know, tomatoes, whatever layer, tomatoes. 
Kamada olives. If you don't like olives, don't add them. If you prefer black olives, use black olives. If you don't know if the people you're making this for like olives, do half with, half without olives. Make it your recipe. Save the best for last, which is the feta, which you just crumble over top. And once again, I don't let a recipe dictate how much feta I use because in my opinion, the more feta, the better. No one ever died from eating too much feta. Well, maybe that's not true. But if I were to die by eating too much feta, it's not a bad way to go now, is it? You gotta make sure it's good. I mean, That look gorgeous. I personally would let this sit in the fridge overnight, so I definitely would recommend making this ahead of time. That would let all the flavors meld together really, really nicely, or at least a couple hours before your party. But let's be serious, I'm gonna be eating this tonight. I'm really excited about this next recipe, because one, it's super festive, two, it's really cute, and three, it involves cutting the cheese. Cheese. Cutting this cheese, just so we're clear. So for this recipe, you'll need some blocks of your favorite cheese, hard cheese, uh, preferable. So like a cheddar, Mott's, marble. I'm using marble, uh, old cheddar, and Monterey Jack for this recipe. And then you'll also need some pepperettes, some pepperoni sticks. These are just the original ones. You can use turkey, you can use spicy, you can use honey garlic, whatever your favorite ones are. These are going to be the stumps of our cheese trees. Yes, I said it. Cheese trees all right so i've kind of organized my cheese i started with the regular you know when i sliced it off the block that's the size you get and then i moved up and took a little bit off each one that's going to be our middle tier and then i took a little bit more off that's our next tier and then the very top tier so that's kind of how i have these piles organized right now and then any excess cheese, don't worry, it's fine. It'll get used. My daughter will probably eat it. I might be snacking on it. Don't worry about that. But let's make some trees. Okay, so I'm gonna get my stump of my tree. So just cut off the bottom part of the pepperoni because that's not straight anyway. So I'm gonna get my stump. So just, just small. That goes on first, okay? And then you take your next one, your next size, try and get it as centered as possible, and then you just build from there. So you take your next color, your next size, and we're just gonna build a tree. Okay, so that's my first one. I did leave a little bit of space at the top of the toothpick because I am gonna be putting a little um, gold star on the top here to do a Christmas tree star. So I'm gonna leave the little top uh, empty for that. So if you look at the recipe in the description box below for these guys, you will see that they use like a toothpick with a gold star on the top. I was going to do that, ran out of time completely. So I just cut the cheese in a triangle and I don't know, I think it makes the top of the tree look good, but that's uh what i came up with and you can do whatever floats your boat whatever works for you and your family and whatever works for your schedule all right we know we can't end this video without me taste testing this feta dip mediterranean hummus whatever it's called cheers if you're gonna make anything out of this make this guy Oh my gosh, that is so good. All the flavors really work well together. It's really nice and light, super flavorful. I think again, if you let this sit in the fridge for four hours or overnight before you served it, 10 out of 10, but that's super good. I'm gonna be eating most of this. You can serve it with crackers. That's all I'm doing tonight, but you could also use pita chips or like cut up pieces of pita and throw them in the oven to crisp them up and serve them with that. Whatever works for you and your family works for me. for today i hope you enjoyed these appetizers 
As always, I will have all the recipes linked in the description box below, and I will see you all tomorrow.